welcome to the Sacred Heart BBC News Report. This is Tamara, Naomi and Anna. And today our two main stories are Beyonce teams with fellow influential female celebrities on the Bossy campaign. Also, the strike reaches fever pitch as thousands of teachers strike for their rights. First, Beyonce has joined many female inspirations in the Bossy campaign. The Bossy campaign is a movement which reaches to young women in a plea to try and ban the term Bossy. This is because it has been used in deg- deg- as a degrading term. It damages self-esteem and it can affect women's future negatively. The women who are back in the campaign are doing so because it is thought that for many years, if men take a starring role, they are seen as powerful, born leaders. However, if women try and accommodate this role, they are often labelled as bossy and stubborn. This has created a certain stereotype for women and has caused many women to think again over their career choices. We asked our head teacher, who has just recently taken on the role of Sacred Heart High School headmistress, what her views on this r- harrowing topic are. She addressed the topic with confidence and explained it was to do with the context. She said if bossy was used in a friendly way, it would be seen as humorous. However, if it was used in a professional manner, it could be taken across offensively. She stated esteem is lowered by visual appearance, not personality. Mainly being the perfect woman will affect most. Her opinion was that women needed to believe in themselves so they can achieve as much as men. It's not to do with gender. La- her last comment was there was no need to ban the word, but to show awareness and to show women that they can achieve if they, if they can overcome and ignore the stereotypes. Action is being taken towards this topic on an international scale. Hopefully this will encourage the new generations to ban the bossy stereotype and to take a further step to becoming equal. To find out more, visit the BBC website where you'll find a link to the video filmed by artists Beyonce, Jennifer Garner and others. Yesterday, thousands of schools were closed due to strikes from members of the National Union of Teachers, with 2,920 of England's schools fully closed and many more affected. It caused many problems. Action was taken due to excessive workload and bureaucracy, performance-related pay and unfair pension changes. David Law, the school minister, said he was disappointed that action had been taken. Many teachers' unions have been pressing the government with similar issues for over two years. However, with talks taking place to change these issues, members of NES, UWT, who often join together with NUT to perform strikes, did not join them due to current talks taking place. We gathered some students' and teachers' opinions on the strike. This quote was given by a secondary school teacher. Teachers go the extra mile, they stay behind after school, when extracurricular activities and volunteer to help older students with their GCSEs. This shows that teachers definitely do work hard enough, not only in school hours, they give up their time for the education of students. However, this is just one of many different views. Some students and parents are worried, worried about the potential negative impact on people's education. A view from a student about the strike was, you miss five lessons a day, this makes a difference. When a strike is taking place, we sometimes don't have our teachers there to carry on the topic we are doing. Talks regarding teachers' working conditions are ongoing. Hello, I'm Sam here for the Entertainment News. Our main story tonight, Simon Cowell has backed the X Factor spin-off musical I Can't Sing. He described it as painful at times, but very fun. Writer Harry Hills said the show is about a young woman who auditions and finds fame on the reality show and is an affectionate spoof which occasionally goes for the jugular. The show opened yesterday on the 26th of March and stars Nigel Harmon, former EastEnder actor, as Simon. It also features other characters based on past and present judges Louis Walsh and Cheryl Cole, as well as host Dermot O'Leary. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Meg, here for the weather. Now looking at an overview, it will be chilly with some scattered showers. Now, today in eastern England, there will be some easterly wind and less rain, while in northwest we find some drier and brighter weather. There will be scattered heavy showers elsewhere with possible thunderstorms and hail, particularly in southern areas. Tonight, showers are likely to continue with outbreaks in central and northern England, northern Wales, and Northern Ireland. It will be drier elsewhere with frost in the west. On Friday we are looking at heavy showers in the south, outbreaks of rain in central 
and northeast parts of the UK. With brisk and chilly winds for most. Looking towards the weekend, we'll be getting mostly fair weather with some sunny spells, becoming warmer in the south but remaining chillier further north. There will be some rain in southwest later on in Sunday and gradually spread northeastward into Monday. This has been the weather.